25 days till Thanksgiving. 57 days until Christmas. Yeah, that's it. That's all you've got. Um, I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and the biggest weekend of the year is coming up for us resellers. Yes, uh, Black Friday weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, at least here in America, that's how it works. So if you're in another country, um, that's what we do. Um, but it, it's really going to be record breaking this year. And it's the biggest weekend actually for e-commerce as well. And so we want to get talking about this. Question is, is your store going to be stocked and ready? Are you going to be ready for Black Friday and, and the weekend? Not just then, but actually before then. So that's what we are going to talk about today. You're going to want to follow these tips and guidelines to prepare yourself for this week's official holiday kickoff in this year's um, record-breaking weekend. So are you ready? Let's start talking about that. Did you know that that actually happens in 25 days? Black Friday, yes, the day before that. Of course, a wonderful, amazing Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. And I love Black Friday weekend. I have for a really long time. I really am kind of thrifty. Did you guys know that about me? I grew up being very, very frugal and thrifty because there just wasn't a lot of money to go around. And so I needed to use it very wisely. And I used to count my pennies and used to really pay attention to sales and deals and resell, um, like resale shops and thrift shops and things like that because I wanted to save money. So this year, is, there's no exception with Black Friday and all that kind of stuff. But have some interesting and different tips because we know what kind of year it's been and we need to talk about those things because I'm going to tell you this right now. The reason why we're talking about this almost four weeks early is because you need to be four weeks early this year. I'm going to share some experiences that I've had. We're going to go through all of that um, so that you are really prepared to face this year's major Q4 holiday e-commerce sales boom and that you're going to be ready because you can't, th that's about preparation. You need to be ready. You have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's the whole point. I learned that from one of my mentors, Nicole Walters, who I absolutely love. And that's one of the things that she's always teaching us. Stay ready because you never know when that opportunity is going to come to you and you're going to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You don't want to be scrambling trying to get an opportunity. You want to be ready for the opportunities when they come or when you decide to seek them out because then there's nothing you got to do. You just show up and you're ready. So that's what I would like you guys to do and how you, I would like you to approach both Black Friday weekend and Cyber Monday and your reselling between now and the end of the year. You need to stay ready. So let's get into all this. 25 days till Thanksgiving. 57 days until Christmas. Yeah, that's it. That's all you've got. It's, if you want to rewind that even like four or five days because, you know, the post office is running so behind this year. So you are not going to necessarily get what the things that you want to get there on time. So we're going to stay ready. Means you only have 25 days, so the biggest shopping weekend of the year. But if you want multiple sourcing strategies, both online and retail arbitrage, if you want to make pre Black Friday sales right now, and you want to know where to look to find all these great deals and make the best decisions on this weekend so that you don't lose any money, it's time to grab the Reseller's Guide to Black Friday. This is a class, a master class that um, I teach with Steven Smotherman from Full-Time FBA. So if you don't follow them, go to fulltimefba.com and follow them. But if you didn't get this last year or this is your first Q4, maybe it's your first Black Friday, maybe you haven't participated, but you're thinking about it this year because of all the supply chain issues that we're having. Um, you get the master class, you get the full slide deck, um, the Black Friday buy list, a checklist, all of this stuff at mommyincome.com slash Black Friday. This is like the only time you're going to hear about this. Um, it's not something that we push hard really huge, but it is something that you should as a reseller uh, take advantage of this particular weekend. We all know, right? We're here for Q4. Like, that's how we do retail. Like, everybody in retail is always gearing up for the holidays because those are the best times to be making all the money. 
So if you're here for that, then you know you're going to work hard and you schedule your like downtime and relaxation time in January. It's like a season where we're super busy with all the things. So mommyincome.com slash Black Friday and get the masterclass, the book. And guess what? You can get it instantly. You don't have to wait for this to be released. It's already ready for you. Read the updated book as of 2021. It is updated. It's ready. All of the information is there, what to buy, where to buy it, how to execute your best Black Friday strategies and accompany it with this particular podcast episode because this particular episode, I'm going to give you the 2020 updated version of some of the things that you need to pay attention to because this year it's just different and you just need to be aware that it's different okay that's where you go for that oh special coupon code uh bf sale as in like i'm your bff like bf sale ten dollars off of the black friday course and the book and you can get it there so what can you grab besides the reseller's guide to black friday um it depends on your risk tolerance. See, because a couple episodes ago, you guys know that I talked about some retail arbitrage and you know that I am a firm believer in wholesale bundles and I do the majority of my business, like 99% of my business is wholesale bundles. Occasionally I pepper some arbitrage in there when I need to, but I don't generally. Now this year has been a little different because number one, I need to stay in business. And when you need to stay in business, you gotta get a little scrappy. You gotta do what you've gotta do because when your Halloween inventory that you ordered back in like March and April does not show up for Halloween, you've got to be able to do something different. So yes, we've been doing some arbitrage this year, even though I don't love doing arbitrage, I do it now because it's supplementing the stuff that I have not received from my suppliers that I ordered. So there's nothing wrong with a little profit, a little bit of opportunity. And Black Friday weekend is one of the exceptions when it comes to retail arbitrage specifically. Number one, I've been participating in, in Black Friday for like however long it's been called that. <laughs> like I remember a time it probably wasn't called that, but then like, you know, before it was like the overnight stuff, before it was major online everything, you could literally just go and like, I'm not sure I was camping out for anything, but yeah, definitely hitting the pavement at like 5 a.m. to like get all the best deals. There's just too much money to be made in this holiday weekend for, for us to kind of sit and not do anything. But if hitting stores is not your thing, we can all of these things apply both online and offline. But there are some advantages to both, and we're going to talk about how you can kind of capitalize on this particular weekend because it's really going to be the best for you and for your business to pay attention. It starts right now. It really does. So here's another thing. They say that still about 40% of people don't feel comfortable and safe going into stores or being around any sort of large crowds right now. So you know that it's not going to be as crazy busy as previous years. Black Friday weekend, uh, yes, it will be busy. It's always busy. But it's not going to be as busy because more and more people are realizing they can shop online. And why do they need to drive from store to store, wait in lines, or weather the storms and the cold or, you know, wherever it is. Maybe it's hot where you are. <laughs> but they don't have to do all that. They don't have to spend this time because all of these other things are available now. Retailers are going to be encouraging people, though, to come to the stores. Why? Because they want you to come for that doorbuster, but they also want you to be buying other things, which who doesn't actually? Like, that's totally me, right? I'll go in to buy Black Friday stuff and I'll be like, oh, yeah, this is on sale. I'll have this. I'll have them pretty soon. My cart is like full of all kinds of goodies and uh, some splurge and impulse buys, which the stores are counting on. So there's going to be less people in the stores. So if you are available you should be going to you should consider going to the stores for this if this is kind of you know something even if you don't enjoy it that much let me tell you this right now it's not always about what we enjoy sometimes it's just about making money for our business and we got to do what we got to do I mean I don't like taking out the garbage but I need to do it because it's part of the job right no one else is going to come in here and you know clean my office for me and take out my garbage, right? Well, nobody else is going to go do it for you unless you hire them, of course. So, you know, that's sort of what you need to get used to. You need to understand that with Q4, sometimes we have to do things we don't love doing because it's for the sake of our business. So Black Friday sales are starting earlier. People, uh, the stores, the retailers want you to get in and be buying earlier. Um, 
So make sure you're paying attention now. And of course, don't be forgetting last year's hot products. Last year was great for online and for e-commerce, but it wasn't like the strongest year um, that the retailers have had. So you want to prepare for that. So this is how you're, these are the, gonna be your Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of tips for how you can start capitalizing like today and then also through the rest of this season. So number one, the one, the number one tips, are, I'm going to give you a couple of like 2021 precursors, right? So in years past, a lot of the things still apply. Almost everything still applies as far as shopping early and all the tips I'm giving to you today. But some of these are specific to this year and you want to pay attention to them. This is why I'm encouraging some retail arbitrage if you can, if you're able, of course, Wholesale bundles are just where it's at and you want to be bundling for sure. You can bundle. I actually just created <laughs> three retail arbitrage Christmas bundles like last week. So um, I couldn't help myself. I saw the product on the shelf. I'm like, they actually have product and it's in stock and they have all of these. I'm, we're going to buy these um, because the supply chain issues are a real problem. Now, there's a lot of toy manufacturers that have been releasing, you know, press releases and blogs and different things basically saying, we're not going to have a shortage, don't worry. Um, but there are many products that are affected by an overall product shortage. For example, anything that has a computer chip in it, you're going to struggle to get any quantities of. Um, this is particularly hit hard for like the car industry, clearly. I mean, I don't know about you, but like I don't get a car for Christmas if you do. If you guys are giving away cars for Christmas, um, totally add me to your list. <laughs> but seriously though, like things that use computer chips this year are really going to struggle. I know that Sony has already released the fact that they're struggling to make the new PS5s and different things, like graphics cards for computers, computers, laptops, phones even anything that have anything that has a computer chip electronically speaking um goes you're going to struggle to get quantities they might have a few here and there what we need to look for as resellers is stuff that's already available so we might not be buying the latest greatest models but this is where really good retail arbitrage comes in because you can go scour the smaller stores that like I mean yeah your targets your best buys your you know Walmart even Amazon are going to have a lot more ample stock but just like any other really good retail arbitrage honey hole is what we call them going to some of the discount stores like Ollie's and and what's the other one, Big Lots and Tuesday mornings and places like that that kind of do like last year's stuff or like have closeouts and different things. Those are the stores that are going to be the best for capitalizing this year on things like Black Friday and having inventory. That's the biggest problem is that like they might have a TV order, but they might only get a couple to where um, you can get your hands on some discounted last year's models for a lot cheaper. So you want to be paying attention to stores like that. Um, the first tip that I really want to give you is to sign up for the email list for your favorite retailers, for the retailers that you think are going to have good salespeople, places around you. You want to make sure that, like, even get a separate Gmail for this. Like, get, like, you know, whatever your store is at gmail.com or something and have all of those there and then have a day a week that you check those sales. And here's why we'd want to do that, because sometimes they introduce extra special sales for specific things that they don't advertise like in the newspaper or all over anywhere else and then they all some of these stores have even apps so you want to make sure and also in the retail uh, resale in the reseller's guide to black friday um the course and the book we d definitely talk about different apps that you want to be able to get and you know what you can use these apps for a short time and then delete them off your phone i don't use all these year round but i keep a list of them to download around this time of year so that i can scour the best deals before i even go because i do like to go to the stores i'm not an on i'm not much of an online arbitrage person um, just because of the shipping and lead times and all that kind of stuff. I want my stuff here and now so I can ship it in. That's another thing that you want to pay attention to is shipping stuff in immediately. Um, so you get, this is where when you sign up for their emails or you get their apps, you get special coupons, special deals. A lot of them have rewards points. And if you're spending a lot of money on retail arbitrage, you want to get their reward points. Even it's not like using their credit card. It's like store rewards. Like if you spend $100, you get, you know, a $10 coupon or whatever it is. Like 
use that up. It's free money. Like, why would you leave free money on the table? So get a special email account for these, like what I consider kind of, they mostly feel like spammy emails. Uh, sign up for your retailer's list that you want and, and join their rewards programs and get all and every and all discounts that you can possibly get. These are special promo codes you can use only online or one time only. Sometimes they send you postcards in the mail. These things are so worth it this time of year. You want to be able to stack those deals and get the best because a lot of the stuff is going to just be within the rush and hustle bustle, but you're also making uh, really good margins on some of these things. So um, that's the first tip is really to sign up for the email list or get the apps of some of these stores that you are that you want to visit for retail arbitrage, places that are going to have like what I consider older stock. And when I say older stock, I mean, maybe they're stocking things from like a year or two, or maybe they're not like the top best models like Sony and Panasonic, you know, TVs or something like that. But they're going to have some overflow of toys from the past couple of years, some different stuff that like is still in style and using, but like the regular big retailers don't have the shelf space for all of this overstock stuff. And believe me, there are a lot of stores right now that have an abundance of certain things and none of other things. Like this is the supply chain issue that we're having. So if you see it on the shelf and you anticipate that it's going to sell well this time of year or through the holidays, get it now. List it now. Because you're going to go back and it's going to be gone. And what if, it's this is basic supply and demand as well. What if that store doesn't have that anymore? Then all of a sudden your item becomes more valuable and you can raise the price a little bit because the supply and demand are not meeting up. And that's where resellers can get a lot of the different, you know, a lot of big profit. Here's another thing that you can do. That you can do to prepare is really the tr some of the trends have continued through the pandemic and yes we're you know it's leveling out a lot more and things like that but there are a lot more things that people like people have changed permanently like at first when we were first in quarantine and the people were working from home and all that kind of stuff like people not like us that have been working from home forever <laughs> but people that are just starting to do all this stuff like that's becoming the new normal. And I hate that word, like the new normal, what does even that mean? But let's just press forward with that. A lot of people are spending a lot more time at home than they used to because they've gotten used to it. So some of the trends that happened last year are going to continue. Places like Walmart are going to continue to offer a lot of loungewear and athleisure wear, you know, that sort of like, I call it like my mullet outfit. Like y'all get to see me from here up, but you have no idea that I'm wearing slippers and sweatpants under this. Because <laughs> why? <laughs> why not when you were working from home? So that's sort of like the thing that that is still big and trending. Also, a lot of people because of the pandemic and things like that are avoiding large indoor spaces, large crowds, things like that. So outdoor stuff is still extremely popular. You're going to be able to see more sales on things like fire pits and sporting goods and bicycles and backyard spaces have been a big deal this year. People are new patio sets, patio furniture, um, those big tall heaters that they've been using at restaurants and things like that. These are up and coming and continuing trends that you want to pay attention to because people buy big expensive things for Christmas. They do. People wait till this time of year to give somebody something extravagant because it feels weird to like send somebody something in May that's like a thousand dollars like I don't know what the average budget is but things like grills and fire pits and things like that that will enhance outdoor backs back door backyard spaces. Uh, also things like um, string lights, different types of string lights, not just Christmas lights, but people are using that stuff year round. So you want to pay attention to that. The work at home stuff. Don't be surprised if you see deep discounts on things like um, fitness equipment and exercise equipment. That stuff is very common still for this time of year. People want to start thinking about getting healthy. And in case you haven't noticed, I feel like I forget this every year. Sometimes you guys might not. But I forget that like <laughs> Christmas is Christmas and it's all the hype and all the excitement and family and just like all the feel good stuff. And literally the new year is seven days from then. And it's just like all of a sudden we flip from Christmas to like, oh, it's going to be the new year. What about this? What about this? So people are still thinking about that for the new year. So thinking about stocking your store with some of those things. And you guys, 
the time to get it and list it is right now because the world is kind of in a panic about this whole supply chain issue. I mean, if you're listening to the news, you follow any blogs, any things like that, like there's a lot of retailers writing about shop early, shop early, shop early. And it's not because they want your money earlier, although that's super helpful for a company. It's because what they have is what they have. You guys, I, I already said this last week, but I was still, I'm still like in shock at some of the things I'm going into stores and not seeing. Like, Michael's had no Halloween stuff. Like, none. And this was like weeks before Halloween. And I'm starting to look at some of their Thanksgiving stuff, and they have some fall, but I'm like, they don't really have a whole lot of Thanksgiving fall decorations either. Like, we hope they get Christmas stuff in, right? And they say they said it's because there's it's stuck on shipping containers and trucks and everything else. So this is why retail arbitrage is going to be super important this year. And it's going to be starting now. Another thing that you want to pay attention to, if you if you do wholesale, if you uh, even if, if you've signed up for like ASD, um, if you've signed up like last year or if you went, came to the workshop and signed up for Las Vegas ASD, you can still access their exhibitor page. I would look at some of the closeout companies and see if they have any last year goods that you can buy if they don't have any sitting around. Um, because if you need Thanksgiving stuff, it's still plenty of time to do Thanksgiving stuff, but where are you going to get it if the stores don't have them? This is why arbitrage is going to be kind of a crazy thing. I talked to one of my vendors this week, and they said the major problem they're having is with trucking. It's not necessarily shipping from overseas and shipping containers, although that's still a really big problem with supply chains. The second thing that's hindering all of this supply chain issue is the number of trucking companies and, and drivers available for like, you know, the big trucking freight companies, like, I don't know, like, well, not just DHL and, and UPS, I'm talking about, in FedEx, I'm talking about like the smaller companies that contract out, like picking up your pallets and delivering them to wherever. They don't always use FedEx and UPS. There's all small freight companies that they like to arrange because it costs them less and things like that. So trucking companies, we even asked if we could come and send a truck and pick up our own stuff from the warehouse because they said it's just sitting there. And we're like, well, is it worth like a whole 24 hours and a couple of people to drive 12 hours to get the inventory and bring it back? So um, this is kind of the time of year where if they have stuff available around you, get it and put it on your shelf because somewhere out there, they're not getting the stuff and you're going to need to put it on your shelf. So a lot of the stuff of what you should be buying, what you should be paying attention to, the different sales, things like that, of course, is all in the reseller guide to Black Friday class, mommyincome.com slash Black Friday. So don't forget about that. Um, but a lot of it also, if you're a Hub member, review the Q4 class. So if you have Q4 Jumpstart in the Hub, then review that before, like this week. Like watch it on one and a half times or something just so that you can review. This is the stuff I need to be looking for for this year. People forget so many things. They're like, oh, toys for Christmas and like for little kids. No way. Like we have like a couple little kids in the family and other than that, everybody else is grown. So we're buying gifts for adults. Um, which, again, pay attention to that, that computer chip stuff. If you see, like, a PlayStation 5, like, on the shelf, you could totally resell that. Maybe not on Amazon, maybe Facebook Marketplace, maybe, maybe something like that. But, like, these things are in short supply and some things that people really, really want for this time of year, like Nintendo Switch and, like, the, some of the big electronic stuff. So if you're kind of in the middle of nowhere Walmart and you find some of this stuff available scan it and see if there's a margin for Amazon because seriously there's going to be a shortage of certain things and we're going to want to get those things. The things that probably will still be abundant are thing anything that's going to be like made in the U.S. because that doesn't have to be imported. It still has to be trucked around but the, Im the importing really is another thing. Uh, textiles are very easy for people to ship um, via air shipping because it's not as heavy so smaller lighter items are probably going to be readily available but anything big and heavy things made of steel steel's prices have gone up like 10 times so um, avoiding things like that you're going to see manufacturers starting to switch to different materials so just keep your finger on the pulse of the supply chain issues and the things like that because those things are going to come up regularly what can you do to prepare number one we talked about signing up for the emails. 
Number two, watching the trends locally and seeing what's available in your area in order to put it on yourself. Here's the next tip. Merchant fulfill. Now, I know during the holidays, we're all busy, and especially with things kind of opening back up again, there'll, there'll be some of the events that we've been missing out on the past year or so, two years, whenever, however long it's been, um, but we're starting to kind of get back into gathering, so we're going to be busier than ever. So why in the world am I telling you to merchant fulfill when we're already busy, when it's the busiest time of the year? Because you're in business, in retail, in Q4, the end. Like, do it all if you want, if that suits you. I'm going to be doing some Merchant Fulfill because there are things that just won't get to Amazon on time. I have been burned by Amazon before to where you send in something or I've done like a reorder and then it doesn't get there on time. And then you're selling Chris trying to sell Christmas tree stands on January 10th. Like, it doesn't work. So Merchant Fulfilling, maybe 50% of like, say you buy 100 units of something. Maybe keep 25 to Merchant Fulfill and send the rest to Amazon. That way, while it's in transit to Amazon, while Amazon's checking it in, while they're getting their stuff together to be able to check in your inventory on time, you also can still make sales. So getting your packaging, get a, ordering from like BubbleFast or Uline or all these different places um, to get your supplies. Save your Amazon boxes and reuse them if you need to. Um, Keep your packaging, keep packaging tape, keep poly bags, order your stuff early so that you can do some Merchant Fulfill. But also with Merchant Fulfill, early is best. The post office has been running behind. UPS and FedEx are usually pretty on time still. They have had an infrastructure longer than the past few years and they can handle it, although there's an influx. Uh, there's still a worker shortage out there. A lot of people have gone to start working online and from home and, you know, there's still a worker shortage all nationwide. So be patient, but also pay attention to the fact that it's going to be slower. So if you're selling on eBay, you're selling on Mercari, any of these other places, plus Amazon uh, Merchant Fulfill, get your stuff in early ship it out early the faster you list it the more it can sell i've had oh, quite a bit of merchant fulfill orders since i listed you know i've been listing some like christmas puzzles do really well this time of year um because people usually use those as a tradition of some sort in, in christmas whether it's new year's or christmas eve or whatever else so i've been getting some christmas puzzles on the shelf and i've been merchant fulfilling some of them and you'd be surprised that even though i have some at fba some people are still ordering them merchant fulfill i don't know what the reason is i think it maybe have to do with the delivery time but everything's kind of wackadoodle right now so just try all the things um, I am cautioning, I, I will not do a lot of online arbitrage right now because I just don't trust delivery rates and I need things to be there and on time. So you can list something as Merchant Fulfill as soon as you have it in your possession and then you can ship it out as, you know, when you have it. I have listed things on Black Friday standing in line to check out the things that are in my cart and have sold them on Amazon before I even hit the checkout. Like I list it Merchant Fulfill, it's available, it's ready. And by the time I leave the store and check out, like I've sold three things. It's crazy. So making sure that if you're going to do Merchant Fulfill, do that. There is a video on our YouTube channel here to be able to see like how you set up shipping templates and things like that for Merchant Fulfill because it's going to be really important to do that. And make sure you meet your shipping deadlines. Amazon's not very friendly with you when they say ship within 24 hours and then you ship two days later. Like it will hurt your metrics. So make sure you're available to ship on time or make sure that you say that you're using a couple of days for shipping or whatever. So those are those are some of the basic tips is like we're starting now. We're not even waiting till Black Friday, although there's going to be tons of good sales to, to be had there. Um, you, you still want to be prepared now. Start doing the research now. Start looking at things that were on sale last year because they, they often bring the same types of things back every single year. And a lot of gadgets and gifts and things like that are electronic related so people are going to be looking for alternatives because if you wanted an iphone or if you wanted an iwatch or an apple watch or a playstation or any of those types of things they might be in short supply because of the computer chip issue so you want to make sure that that there's some alternatives that you're looking for other popular type gifts that are out there so sign up for the emails 
the your retailer emails, get their apps, even if it's temporary. Um, get the Reseller's Guide to Black Friday Masterclass and book because that will really help you. There's also like a buy list, bolo list kind of thing on there. Um, so that's pretty fun. You want to make sure you grab that. And, you know, making sure that you're paying attention to some of the trends, some of the different things out there. Use Merchant Fulfill because you want to be able to be prepared for that. Order your shipping supplies, bubble mailers or boxes or whatever it is that you want to be able to ship. Priority mail prepaid stuff is, or, or not prepaid, but their pre-printed stuff is really pretty easy to use. It's easy to calculate how much the shipping is going to be on that. So maybe that's your best bet if you don't want to go buy materials. Just use, you know, priority mail, um, pre-sized, you know, they have like standard prices. So you don't have to worry about, you know, specifically figuring out shipping for everything. Um, but pay attention to those things uh, for Black Friday. It's coming. It's coming whether you like it or not. Cyber Monday is great, too, I think, for buyers. So you also, that's part of what we're doing here is, like, we're shipping stuff in now so that the people that are buying on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you've got stuff on the shelf to sell them. So not only are you buying for the upcoming holiday, Thanksgiving and Christmas, but if you're sending in stuff now, it's going to be available on Black Friday. So don't wait for then, although there's great opportunities then, and you can make a boatload of money between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's like probably the biggest 30 days of, of the year for a lot of us um, as far as sales and things like that. But you've got to have the stuff ready to sell. And so wouldn't you have to do that work now? So instead of listening to the rest of this podcast, which is about to end anyways, I want you to go out and take some of these tips and use them. Use them. Because you will be rewarded when you do the work. Because you know what? You can finish this year with results and good sales and pat yourself on the back for doing the work and working hard and, and putting in the time. Or you can finish the year with the regrets and like, oh, I wish I... I should have. I did this. But yeah, but I mean, there's we can make an excuse for anything that we want. Or we can just make it happen and see what happens. Because usually it's a really good positive re result. I want you guys to have an amazing result. I have so much planned for 2022. I'm so excited to meet some of you. I mean, like all of the like the workshop seats are half gone already. So if you guys haven't signed up for a workshop that's not till January, um, you need to get on that now as well because half the seats are already gone and it's only been like a couple weeks since we've released it. So it's going to sell out soon. If you want to get a workshop seat, now is the time to do that. I would love to be able to meet you in Atlanta, Georgia, mommyincome.com slash workshop. Of course, workshop 20, I think workshop 50. <laughs> I can't even remember my own coupon codes. Isn't that sad? Um, you can get a special discount for being a podcast listener, Workshop 50. And I would love to be able to meet you there. We do a meet and greet. Then we work all day on, on the workshop day, building bundles together, making friends, making connections. We walk through the trade show the next day. And you are just fully equipped to hit the ground running and making the best bundles you can make for 2022 can't wait to meet you there. I love meeting people. I had so much fun in August when I got to meet a whole handful of you guys there. And I know some of you guys are already just like killing it, knocking it out of the water. You have Q4 bundles, you have Christmas bundles. I'm just over the moon excited for all of the students that have had major success already. So that could be you. That could be you next. I want to be able to meet you at the workshop, mommyincome.com slash workshop. Uh, use your coupon code and happy Black Friday and Q4 sales. I know you guys are going to crush it. Do the work, reap the benefits, and we'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.